Welcome to another group Iron Man episode. In the last one, of course, I got the crystal armor completed except for the helmet. I swapped the helmet to the chest plate and we got the bow of Feraldinan. Now, you can actually pay 2000 crystal shards to make the bow of Feraldinan undegradable. It doesn't take any crystal shards to use anymore, but that is a lot of crystal shards and I currently only have roughly 600 of them. So what I'm going to start off this video by doing is Solcano masses and just farm a lot of crystal shards and also some decent smithing supplies. So when doing Salcano masses, the kills are extremely fast and you really only need to get your minimal stats in, which is like 50 health done and 50 damage to the shields, which can be kind of hard sometimes with so many people in here because it just dies so quickly. But as long as you do the damage, you should be getting the crystal shards. On average, you should be getting around 1 to 3 crystal shards per kill. So if I need 1,400 of them... That is a lot of kills. It's going to be roughly 700 kills that I need to do. So uh, yeah, let's get grinding. 27 kills the first trip and this is all the loot that I got, which is actually not bad at all. Uh, even in masses you get pretty decent loot, 55 crystal shards. But because I have so much money, which uh, yeah, I relogged. Uh, because I have so much money, I have like 13 mil or something in the bank. I actually want to get a regen bracelet that uh, basically regens double the amount of health, which is pretty convenient when you're not taking that much damage at a skilling boss. Still have 11 million cash left, the benefit of doing so much gauntlet, but that should be enough chaos runes for an uncut onyx. And that's the onyx, I'm going to be putting it into the group storage so that Dovidas can craft that into the onyx bracelet whenever he's available and then I can enchant it. Got the onyx bracelet back and let's now enchant this for the region bracelet. I think I want to get a good mix of things that gives me crystal shards in in this video. So I'm probably going to stop at like maybe 250, maybe 300 volcano kills. I've done 49 so far. And after that I might do some gauntlet, I might do some other things that gives crystal shards. I guess we'll see. But uh, I will definitely not spend the entire video at volcano. I think a good activity I can do when I can't really focus on anything and I need to AFK is just cutting teaks, which is of course some nice woodcutting experience, but also every 80 logs on average you get one crystal shard. Also I should get 80 hunter now that I think about it. These crystal implings could be some nice shards as well. Might go for that, not sure, but uh, in the kind of near future I want to catch these. Well, I've done a bit of a test here and you can see 106,000 woodcutting experience was 10 crystal shards. So it is definitely not a great method of getting crystal shards, but as I said, whenever I want some AFK time, I can do this. After that woodcutting, I actually felt like doing some gauntlets. I did 10 runs and I have all the loot in my inventory. This is the loot for the last one. And as you can see, the crystal shards from this is pretty good. I should end at over 80 after this. And the last chest is some normal stuff, but yeah, 82. But I am back to Salcano, and this is KC number 200 for some adamant ore, very nice drop, and that means I've doubled my KC so far. 63 crystal shards on this one trip, I can stay here for so long with this region bracelet. And that is 250 Salcanos done, I think I'll take a break here and go back to the gauntlet. It is better crystal shards from the gauntlet if I don't really die any time at all, if I do 100% success rate it definitely is better. But I think my overall Salcano goal for this video is going to be 300. It is very time consuming even in masses and the crystal shards are okay, but uh, not as good as the gauntlet and I still need an armor seed. By the way, a quick update here. I have over 1000 crystal shards and actually if I go to my bow for Adinan, I have how many charges? Like 19k. And that is 190 crystal shards. When you do actually corrupt it, it discounts that. So I actually only need like 1810 crystal shards. But I also need to get uh, 82 smithing to be able to corrupt it from 72. So that's 10 levels. I get some uh, supplies from Salcano, of course, which is great. And then I also need 82 crafting or actually only need 78 because with a mushroom pie, I can boost that. And I have some uncuts that I've got from the gauntlet. So we can see here I have these like 1100 uh, sapphires, almost 1k emeralds. And also I have a lot of gold bars. Whoops. I have a lot of gold bars that I can make into jewelry with these. And also Max Nick said he has a decent amount of uh, molten glass that I can have. So all of that should be sorted. 
That is a big milestone, 200 Corrupted Gauntlets done. Let's see what we're going to get for this chest. And we get nothing too special, but 200 is very nice. I want to work on my crafting a bit, so I'm going to get as much out of the gems I have that I've got from the Corrupted Gauntlets. I'm going to be crafting all of them and then also use my gold bars that I have, like 9,000 of, and make jewelry out of them. And let's see what level we end at. Quite a lot of crafting later. This is going to be actually two big milestones, 70 crafting and 1725 total. So that is going to be actually two broadcasts in the chat. Look at that. That is so many broadcasts. And if you're wondering how much I still have left, well, I've made 1.3k almost em emerald amulets, almost 700 ruby amulets, like 171 diamond bracelets, but I still have 7k gold bars and 2,000 sapphires, and I'm running kind of low on emeralds, but uh, yeah, pretty much 2,000 left I'm going to use. I have a question to you guys. Uh, what is the most boring slash annoying skill to do in old school runescape in your opinion? And no, you cannot say runecrafting. Because every comment would be runecrafting if uh, that was allowed. So, in the comments, please let me know what the most annoying skill in the game is for you. And also, I am back to Solcano. I finished with a 490,000 crafting experience from uh, all the gems. And uh, I got to, I guess, 71 and pretty close to 72. So, pretty nice experience from that. And I'm going to get 300 KC here now. At 279kc right now and look at the storage. There's actually two things here. The first thing is the molten glass which Nick just gave me. He had a bunch and this should be enough for 78 so I'm going to finish that after I get 300kc. But also look at this. We now have two Aram's robe tops and one Aram's robe skirt which is just a massive upgrade for Solra or Raids or whatever over the Dagon high gear. And actually Doug got all of these three I'm pretty sure. We're only really missing the hood for the full Aram set. It's not very useful but the chest and the legs or the skirt is extremely useful. And that is going to be kill number 300 and for some reason one of the kills did not get tracked but uh, this is all the loot. 199 which of course is more like 200 but uh, yeah 8.8 .8 million but basically all of them was done in masses so uh, you get a lot less loot that way but you get basically the same amount of crystal shards and that is why I did it in masses but uh, yeah still pretty good amount of mithril bars also like look at these adamant ores all these can be made into bars if we have the coal for it which is like 16,000 adamant darts for the uh, blowpipe so that is a lot but now that I'm done with Solcano for this video, by the way, a quick update, I have 1.2k crystal shards, so I still need roughly 600 to finish the corrupted bow. But uh, we have all the crafting banked, basically. I think I'm, I might be like 500 molten glass off, but I can always just get some uncuts or something from the gauntlet. But this should get me, which is going to take me a very long time, look how slow this is. It is going to get me to 77 and pretty close to 78, I'm sure of it. And 78 is the goal, so let's uh, complete this. And it turns out I did have enough Molten Glass for 78, that took a very long time, 1,250,000 crafting experience later, it is now done and I still have 108 Molten Glass. And now it is time for smithing, we're going to start off by doing, actually let me uh, remove the screen marker real quick. I don't know if that was even recorded, but um, yep, I am going to use all the steel bars and all the mithril bars first off. I'm just going to basically make plate bodies and then after that I am going to do probably blast furnace for all the remaining smithing experience I have to get. I have to get a lot, I need to get from basically 73 because I'm so close all the way to 82. 995,000 smithing experience done and this is actually going to be the last smithing experience I get for 80 smithing which is a nice milestone to get but why I'm actually stopping on 80 instead of 82 is because I can easily easily boost with stews and every level is taking me like 4500 gold ore which is a lot of time and I've been just uh, growing my kitten ba for basically the stew boosting and I feel kind of done with skilling. I mean, 63 crafting to 78. And then, uh, of course, like 73 to uh, 80 smithing. I think that's quite enough for me. And I still need to get crystal shards as well. So I'm going to stop here and I will have the mushroom pie for crafting. And then at the same time, just stew boost two levels. It's going to be pretty easy. 
Obviously the goal of this video was to get the corrupted bow of Feradinan, but 600 more crystal shards is just way too much to grind out. It's like 70 corrupted gauntlet completions, which uh, is quite a lot, and I would love to uh, upload a video in the next week. So uh, I'm going to do some corrupted gauntlets, but uh, I'm going to be realistic. I might do like 15 or something like that, and then that's going to be it for the video. Let's see what we get for this one, and we get average drop, I guess. Oh, there it is. That's the last crystal armor seed I need. That's for the helmet. I'm not sure, does it cost any crystal shards to make now that I have the stats for it? I I think it costs some, but I think it's a worthy sacrifice. Right, so I have 1,259 crystal shards, and let's now make the helmet. Yeah, that cost 50 crystal shards, which is, uh, of course, setting me back a bit on the corrupted bow. But having the full set now is really nice for bossing. I don't really need to be on a slayer task now. Because otherwise I would have wanted the Slayer Helmet for obviously the full damage bonus. But now I can just use the Crystal Helmet for like God Wars bosses and stuff. And that is the full Crystal Armor with the Bow Faradin and of course uh, looking very nice. The overall damage bonus that this bow now has with the full Crystal set is 30% more accuracy. Which means I miss so rarely. Like using this full set gives me insane accuracy and that is why the DPS on this bow is so extremely high as well as 15% more damage, which makes it a absolute beast of a weapon. Because I have so many shards left to farm and it is going to take a very long time, I am going to end the video here and in the next one I am going to be corrupting the bow and focusing on using the bow at different areas in the game, just trying it out with the full crystal armor, which is going to be very interesting. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see future content, also you can click any other videos on the screen right now if you want to be uh, watching a video right away. But until next time guys, take care.